Okay, guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Wrestle Slab, the podcast brought to you by Manscaped.com. <clears throat> Don't forget, we have that promo code. It is Wrestle Slam. That will get you 20% off uh, the 4.0 package and much more on that website. And yet again, thank you to Manscaped.com, as always, for supporting the Wrestle Slam team. So, breaking news via Wrestle Slam, we have changed the format. Because there's so many of us on Wrestle Slam, we're going to narrow down the show to two people. Per show. So next week you'll have Phil, Jur, and Liz, and then we'll keep rotating and rotating and rotating. It's just we yeah, we, we we like to talk about, it, don't we? So we have to get our mm. points across. Exactly, exactly. I mean, like what being a wrestling podcast has its ups and its downs because I feel like there's something going on every single fucking day that we all have a different point of view. Like so, and like I want to make it easier for everyone, and of course, like. Uh, we have a bit of a hectic schedule here and there, lads. You know yourself uh, with everything going on. So, yeah, looking forward for this format. And, uh, of course, we need we need to pave the way, Jerry, lads. We need to pave the way for this new round, lads. Definitely. And, look, we want to thank all the fans across across Ireland and across the world for tuning in. Like, WrestleStam has been um, it's been going strong for over two years now. Um, you know, we started over two years ago. It was myself, yourself, uh, Phil and Johnny Dwyer. Um, obviously Liz and Jer came along and we've had Timmy Cronin and, and, and many more with us over the due course of that two and a half years. So as you say, look, it was just a quick format change. Uh, the team are still here and next week you will have Phil hosting a show with Jer and Liz. So do check that one out next week. It's just good to, to get more opinions across. And yet again, the show is brought to you by Manscaped.com. If you are an RCW fan, Rebel County Wrestling in the heart of Cork City, do check out the latest interviews that have dropped with Matt Murphy. They are fucking incredible. My job is in jeopardy. I can no longer interview after seeing what Matt's done. Matt is the man. He's going to be taking things forward with interviews. And look, there's awesome interviews there with Saviors. Uh, Leif and Buzzard, uh, Dino Power, the Great Phil Boyd. Um, and just a and many more so they are on the wrestle slam youtube channel so do head over there and check out our man matt murphy in host via rcw and the interviews are incredible and look more yeah. ott dates and much more via hard knocks and more organizations in ireland coming in due course so yet again we have to answer one question there was a few people asking us uh, the situation with John Moxley and OTT, you know, guys, uh, we're massive fans of OTT and we don't know. Uh, we attend the shows and we, we do media work. So all I'll say to you is Joe, the man, the myth, the legend, via Mr. OTT, will let you all know what's happening in due course. And look, the man is iconic here when it comes to Irish wrestling. Um, obviously, there was an announcement that Moxley is due to be on another show in America but look, I can promise you this, Joe will not let the fans down. Um, and I know he's working very hard at this moment in time to um to figure out what's happening and what's going on. So look, just for all for all official information, and I'm gonna say this, no one else will know only Joe and OTT. So if you're looking for official information, just watch OTT on Wrestle. Uh, I suppose when it comes to wrestling, OTT on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and they will let you know what's happening. But look, Joe is a, an absolute you know, a legend in, in Ireland, in Irish wrestling, and look, whatever he will do and whatever will happen will be iconic. So do stay tuned mm. for all that as well. So we, we haven't got answers. People, Matt, pe people keep texting you and me and everyone saying, do we know what's happening? And we don't. Yeah, that's actually us just being brutally honest. And we can't really say this so much that, uh, saying this so much, I think my hair has actually gone out now. I'm just clarifying this now. But yeah, we don't know what's going on with OTT. Uh, I'm a big Moxie fan, big Moxie supporter since day one. So, uh, of course, I was a bit concerned when we found out about the mixed dates, about, uh, of course, Moxie being having a busy schedule, like everyone here at Wrestle Slam. But uh, I trust Joe. I trust lads over at OTT. I mean, they, they know what the fans want. They, do, they will not let them down whatsoever. Never. So... This isn't a big letdown whatsoever, of course. You know, as you know, these things happen and Moxie not showing up is just, you know, utterly gut-wrenching. But like you said, we trust Joe and I just can't wait to see who's going to show up. My my brain is filled with the possibilities. Yeah. Uh, but of course, we have we still have Santino Morella. He's going to be there. He's going to be the Cobra. So, that, so that's a mess to we should all look forward to as well. 
And we have to stress that there's like, as you say, look, when, when this Moxley thing was announced, uh, people were jumping the gun. There's nobody that can speak on behalf of OTT. Uh, we're all fans. People are putting stuff up and, and they haven't got a clue. It's only OTT that would comment on this. Don't believe anything else from anybody else. It's OTT, um, Joe, and you know what I mean? He's he's tightly crew that will announce what's happening. So for any official information, you have to watch OTT on Twitter, on Facebook, and on Instagram. And let me stress, um, and obviously people said that we know what's happening. We will never know what's happening because we're just fans like anyone else. And, you know, mm. Moxley, Moxley could still come or else there's a big replacement or else the dates are going to change. But look, I can promise you this, and I know from experience, OTT are the best in the business. Joe and his team are working very hard and I'm sure there will be an announcement, like they said, in due course. So Irish wrestling fans, do yeah. stay tuned. Um, so we're going to go straight to SmackDown, Matt Murphy, as we record the show on a Saturday. It's going to go out Sunday night. SmackDown this weekend, um, the hottest wrestler in the world right now to me Sami Zayn the man mm. is iconic so Sami gets this pop on Smackdown obviously does a little uh, segment with Paul Heyman we know what he done last week on Smackdown obviously um, he, he pretty much beat the shit out of Roman Reigns and this is relating back to the Royal Rumble this is relating to when we were at the McCook Christina Cork watching the Royal Rumble what's your thoughts on Smackdown and obviously the hottest name trending in wrestling right now Mr. Sami Zayn Oof, I, I'm not, I'm going to be honest, uh, this is the first time in a while, I'm, I've always been looking forward to the road WrestleMania, but WV is really like teasing out the possibilities that's going on. Of course, we got Cody versus Roman, but now with Sami Zayn in the mix, uh, you're just wondering, it's like, what are they going to do with Sami? Obviously, there's, I can see Sami, unfortunately, losing to Roman at the Elimination Chamber. I love Sami, I'm over Sami at the moment, but... Uh, it's just uh, how is he going to fit in with like what's going on with the bloodline at the moment, like especially with Jay Uso now being the some of the main character and all this. If you remember on SmackDown, that uh, I mean, it's I'm still upset that you know WWE did say that Sami Zayn is not like WrestleMania main event material, but part of me is still holding on hope. Yeah, uh, but part of me is still holding up that maybe due to the popularity of Sami, he's going to pull a Rainbow Series, he's going to pull it down, Brian. And he's going to get inserted with Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns in a triple threat match as an underdog. If it happens, it happens, but we don't know yet. But WWE should not ignore this about Sami Zayn. He is just like over the moon, lad. He's over the moon. So definitely. And look, we we know right now the storylines are brilliant. We we mentioned Roy Rumble, and we didn't really want the bloodline to break up. But what happened in the end was actually pretty cool. Obviously, Roman turned on Sami. Um, Uso's kind of, you know what I mean, the void of opinion. But is it fair to say that Sammy deserves to WrestleMania? Could we get a triple trick? Could Cody face Roman and, and, and Sammy at WrestleMania? Is that something that you'd like to see? Or would you much before Matt Murphy to see Sammy beat Roman Reigns at Elimination Chamber? Uh, I could see um, Elimination Chamber. There's my rough prediction. I could see Sammy actually, he's actually about to pick up the win over Roman. But Jay is just gonna interfere and cause Sammy, uh, realizing that they're gonna that he now wants to stick with family over Sammy, uh, and I feel like what W is gonna do is not gonna have Jay versus Sammy, but they're gonna have the Usos versus Sammy Zayn for uh with Kevin Owens. Doesn't sound exciting, but I'm still holding on hope that they're gonna actually main event uh WrestleMania. Like, like, I don't want to repeat my words, but this is one of those moments that WWE shouldn't ignore their fans. They they know who's over, and they want to actually try and think, okay, we might get this person in the main event. So even if uh, if it's just that moment of, even if Sammy doesn't win the title. So uh, never say never when it comes to WWE, apparently, and especially that uh, a certain Vince McMahon is no longer in creative. Uh, uh, we, we will expect what we can expect. So again, I'm excited at the moment. Excited what's going to have an elimination chamber. Absolutely buzzing for that. And then WrestleMania, like, it's a weird one. Definitely. No, there was breaking news as well this week. Matt Murphy, SmackDown will be headed to the O2 in London the night before Money in the Bank. So Friday, the 30th of June, SmackDown happens in London. Obviously, then the next day, Saturday, the 1st of July, you have Money in the Bank. Um, and yet again, look, WrestleSlam will be there. We're looking forward to it. So that's great news for all us UK and Irish fans that finally we have something to look forward to. The Usos on SmackDown had a massive win over uh, Braun Strowman and Ricochet. Uh, Ronda Rosie returned to help um, 
her long time friend, uh, Shana. Obviously, they took out uh, Shotzi and Natalia. Um, Sami mm. Zayn rattles Paul Heyman. Mad Cup. Hear me, Mad Cup. Mad Cap Moss. Mad Cap Moss. Continental title match against Gunter. Where, where's Mad Cop? Like, we, we, we mentioned Mad Cap Moss, and, and he was so hot. He was, he, he, he was away for a while, was he? He was away for a while. He actually got injured uh, just when he was actually getting you popular on like the main on the main roster. Uh, WWE, of course, was actually planning on doing something with him, but I don't know how I felt about him actually facing off against uh, against Gunther with the Intercontinental Talent Championship. Of course, Gunther's gonna win. I'm gonna pull for him, but like uh, I could see Mad Cop actually gonna leave like with more hype over him. But I was I was putting for Karrion Cross. That would have been a, an interesting rivalry. So, but uh, I think WWE wants to. But they saw how popular Madcap was getting, and because how well he performed in the ring, and of course he has the mic skills down, they're gonna try and use them the best way they can. So maybe when he just came back, they thought, right, we'll pick up where you left off. Here's a chance you're gonna face off against on the mid card with uh, going to win the Intercontinental Championship. Yeah, and like we we were leaning more towards Sheamus and and Gunter at WrestleMania, or maybe Sheamus Drew and Gunter at WrestleMania. Do you think that's still the case? Gunter retains against Mad Cat Moss um, at Elimination Chamber, and then Sheamus will win the one belt he's not won. So I, I'm right to say Sheamus hasn't won. That's the only belt he's not won is the Intercontinental belt, isn't it? He hasn't won the Intercontinental belt. No, I'm trying to think. Did he? But like, uh, I was I thinking of the United States title, but no, he didn't. So that's... that's the one that remains. He's won everything bare that. So yes, that that would make him. You know, he's he's got every belt to his name. So I- interesting to see what will happen there, but. SmackDown was quite exciting, Matt. Um, obviously, there was a new uh, Undertaker one dead man show announced for Los Angeles and Las Vegas. Uh, mm. In Las Vegas, March 24th. And yet again, Los Angeles, March 31st. Now, WWE Undertaker, bring the Undertaker one dead man show to Europe. Bring it to Dublin, Ireland. Bring it to Cork, Ireland. Bring it to the UK. Us, you know, fans here in Ireland and the UK I want to see that show happen. So please bring that. Also announced SummerSlam. Yeah. It comes to the Ford, um, the Ford Field in Detroit. So SummerSlam is headed there August 5th. So the Ford Field in Detroit, WWE SummerSlam will be there. And that will be awesome as well. We're going to switch to Impact Wrestling nice and quick. The results, um, obviously there were some big matches. Mike Bailey defeated Raj Sina. Um, so Speedball is victorious there, which is interesting. And look, Speedball is the man. Uh, Matt, Matt, you've seen Speedball in Cork at Neptune Stadium via OTT. Uh, what's your thoughts on Speedball, Bailey? Oh, lad, if you don't know anything about Speedball, lads, I would recommend actually watching a match. Uh, we had him on the podcast. I remember yourself and Tim had a good convo about him. Uh, yeah, I he's actually doing a real an impact. I can actually see him actually maybe actually take uh, – competing for the Impact World Championship, lads. Uh, yeah. Not winner, but I think more people need to know about how, how he is in the ring. Uh, and uh, is he going to be facing off against Will Ospreay? That's the rumor, yeah. yeah. That's the rumor. Yeah. yeah. If, that, if, that, if that's actually going to go ahead, then make that happen, lad. Make that happen. Yeah, John, John Gresham. I think he's going to face John, John Gresham next, but yeah, that's that's the talk. Um, Brian Myers defeated Dirty uh, Dirty Dango. We know Van Dango from WWE now called Dirty Dango. So interesting there. Obviously, um, we had the knockouts. World champion Mickey James and Tommy Dreamer did defeated the good hands. Uh, John Schuyler and uh, Jason Hotch. Great victory there for the duo, the dream team. Um, Impact, you know what I mean? We have to mention Impact has been incredible lately. A lot of promos. Obviously, we had... Um, Jordan Grace defeated Steph the Lander. I know Phil's a massive fan of both. Phil Conley, our very mm. own. Um, yeah, there was there was quite a bit happening. Obviously, the Knockouts World Tag Team Champions, Death Dolls, uh, Taya Valkyrie, Rosemary, um, with Jessica defeated Killer Kelly and uh, Taylor Wilde. It's great to see Taylor Wilde back doing her thing after a, a long break, and she's back doing her thing as well, which is great. Obviously, yeah. uh, TOC defeated Shera. Uh, that was a number one contenders match as well. So that was a quick roundup via Impact Wrestling. Yeah, uh, the, uh, Phil, Phil isn't with us, but like it's, it's I'm just it's still ashamed that a lot, a lot of people would tune into Impact these days. It's just focused on WWE and AEW and occasional like um, like people would talk about New Japan, 
even though they did a bit in cold water. But no, Impact, uh, they're really up in their game. Like I feel like every show, like so, so I'm uh, so I, we would actually recommend like trying to sit down, watch an Impact show, and you will be invested. Like because there's uh like you like you said, even with the results, make you think like there's a lot of good shit going on in Impact right now, lad. So it's it's huge, and yet again in Impact, a brand new champion crowned. The new digital media champion, Mr. Joe Hendry, one of the greatest guys to do a promo. He defeated Matt Cardona, and he is the new digital media champion. And the new! So, Joe Hendry, congratulations. He is the new yeah. digital media champion. Congratulations from all of us I, here at WrestleSlam Podcast. Matt, what's your thoughts? I love, yeah, I love Matt Cardona, but like, I think uh, what got me to make me feel like that, yeah, Joe Hendry's going to win this one, has to be the Edges Bitch music video. When I saw that, I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sorry, Mac, over. He's got a good point. He's going to go far. He's getting a good presence on digital media at the moment. Like, so, yeah, I, I, I'm i glad that he won. I was pulling for Mac Cardola because, you know, I, I'm a Mac Cardola fan. Got a chance to meet him at OTT, but happy out for Joe Hagen at the moment, lad. Definitely. You know, we're going to quickly, before we round up, finish up with some All Elite Wrestling Matt, what's your thoughts on MGF and his reign as their world champion? Are you liking all things MGF? Yeah, I think uh, for a good while, it's kind of here and there with like uh, with MGF. I mean, like he would just come out and just insult the crowd, and he would just have like uh, this random like rivalry with like mid Carter. But uh, I'm actually at the moment digging with um, with uh, him as well with Brian Donaldson. Uh, I I I I can see that this actually be probably the best match of the night. MJF actually you knows his ring skills, and of course we saw his mic skills. Uh, so much so that they had to call the police on him. If you if you remember that, yeah. so like uh, MJF, I can see him holding on to that title till the Great Bidding War. I can actually see him just coming out, showing it in everyone's face as MJF does. Brian Johnson, uh, part of me I still want I, because I'm. I fucking love Brian Danson, as you may know. He's one of my he's my favorite wrestlers uh, at the moment in the world. I love to see him winning the title, but I feel like MJ is gonna like weasel his way out of it by winning the match. But like he does with all of his past matches, he would uh he would try and cheat to win. So, but uh, I'm buzzing to see this match. Uh, yeah, I wasn't sure how to feel about MJF, but seeing what he's doing with Brian Danson, it's good, doing good. So. I love it. And via some rampage results, there was a big win for Orange Cassidy. Uh, he beat Lee Moriarty this week, which was a you know a great win for Orange Cassidy. Jungle Boy was victorious yet again. He had a, a match with Ryan Nemeth, so that was a great win for Jungle yeah. Boy. Ruby Soho was uh, victorious. Obviously, uh, had a great match with uh, Marina uh, Schaefer. So congratulations, Ruby Soho, um, a girl that we know quite well from our screens. The Blackpool Combat Club. Uh, they had a great win against Kip Sabin, uh, the Butcher, and the Blade. And yet again, that was February 10th via TNT, All Elite Wrestling Rampage. Um, so yet again, there's there's been a lot, you know, a lot of stuff happening in All Elite Wrestling at yeah. the moment. It is, I uh, feel like I feel like at the moment, since WWE is like uh um revving up on the road to WrestleMania, I feel like other wrestling shows, Impact, AEW, they're gonna feel like they're really gonna try and up the game because they know people are tuning into WWE at this moment, like so. Because uh, people more we we know ourselves more people are tuning into WD at the moment like so so I think it's always been a good fan of uh be, it's always a good time to be a good wrestling fan but now is even but it's that wonderful time of year WrestleMania season lads come on Jerry bring it on bring it on we're quickly gonna go to wrestleinc.com our number one source for wrestling news as well um, and what's trending there at the moment backstage news on the bunny's injury via all elite wrestling dynamite mandy rose felt bad for wwe nxt star in final match um, impractical joke was cross pass with chris jericho on all elite wrestling and rampage um tia valkyrie lays out possibilities for permanent home in 2023 dusty rose headed pitched name for wwe star Cody Rose shared moment with former WWE ref after Royal Rumble and Summer Rain didn't uh, like how the Royal Rumble went. So some interesting stuff there. Yet again, it's been a it's been a massive week for wrestling. Don't forget, guys, the show is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Um, and yet again, we're here every week. Next week we'll have um Phil, Matt, and yeah, no, sorry, Phil, 
journalist, yes. I'm I'm way too busy this day, Jerry, for God's sake. I'm trying I'm too busy trying to take your job. I mean I mean other things. <laughs> I'm busy then. All mush. But look, it's great to have everyone <laughs> tuned in. This show will drop Sunday night. So this Sunday, the twelfth of February, ten PM. This show will drop on the Wrestle Slam YouTube channel. Also, do check out Matt Murphy's interviews with the biggest stars in the indie scene via Ireland and Europe on the WrestleSlam podcast as well. Uh, so, Phil, journalist, will be with you next week. We're going to keep rotating because we have so many opinions. Uh, if you want to get in touch with the show, you can email WrestleSlam at Outlook.com or Twitter, uh, WrestleSlam, and you will find us there. Yet again, the show is brought to you from Manscaped.com, from myself, Jerry, and from Matt. That's a quick roundup of this week's news via WWE, All Elite Wrestling, Impact Wrestling, OTT, RCW, and much more. We will catch you soon, guys. Be safe. Have a good one. And hello and goodbye from the WrestleSlam team. With love. Cheers, guys. With love. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.